Hey everyone, this is Taz and welcome back to my channel. This summer, I've been doing a lot of road trips in my Tesla and also camping. So three accessories that I found really helpful and took my Tesla experience to the next level. So in this video, I wanted to share all those accessories with you guys. So if you're a Tesla owner or if you do a lot of road trips and camping in your Tesla, you don't want to miss this video. So guys, let's get started. By popular demand, I'm going to share the DIY bed frame for Tesla camping. On my sleeping in a Tesla camping video, I got so many comments asking for the bed frame dimensions. I'm so glad you guys liked it. Here is the custom made bed frame. So my hubs built this. All credit goes to him. First, we went shopping for the plywood. So we went to Lowe's and we got 4 by 8, 3 4 inches thick plywood. So we wanted to use the wood for other projects. That's why we got 4 by 8. So if you're just using the wood for building the bed frame, you only need 4 by 4, 3 4 inches thick. Since we got 4 by 8 plywood, we had to cut it into 3 pieces to fit into the Tesla trunk. We also got two studs, two by three, eight feet long. So here is the plywood. So we turned this plywood into four frames. Here are the dimensions for the four frames. After building, two of the frames look like this. They have the similar dimensions. Two things to note, there is a six inches side or angle cut. For one of the frames, it's on the left side. For the other frame, it's on the right side. And when you keep the stud, leave 5.5 inches from top of the wood. The third frame looks like this. So two studs, same length, 35.75 inches. And on the sides, it's plywood, 14 inches long. And the heights are different on both the ends, 5.25 inches and 5.75 inches. Here are the dimensions for the fourth frame. So it's an irregular frame. So I've given the length for the two studs. Uh, as you can see, the length outside and inside are different. And the plywood on the sides, the heights are different, 4 inches and 5 inches. Follow the measurements and you will be able to make the bed frame. 2 by 3 studs and you can just use a nail gun to nail them in. Cover it with a drop cloth which is optional. In terms of tools, like basically look, look at this. I just used um, staple guns to staple it together. Mm -hmm. Now in terms of tools, I used I used the miter saw to cut the studs, okay? And then I used the circular saw to cut the bigger pieces, those bigger pieces. And then I think I used the jigsaw to get the corners and then the nail gun to attach everything together. That's all, I, I didn't use screws, I just used the nail gun. So let's say you don't have any of these tools, you can just do the old school style. Just use, get some framing nails. Just get some framing nails. And then hammer, right? <laughs> yeah. And then you can use your, this old school saw. saw to cut. Yeah. It's going to take you a while, but if you don't want to buy all these tools, or if you don't have any of these tools, this is the simplest way to get the job done. So how long did you take? Was it? I don't know. Five hours? Uh, four to five? I think I... Half day, right? Yeah, it was like I had to like precisely measure everything, cut everything and staple yeah. everything together. Maybe I think I spent maybe three, three hours. Three hours? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's, if I do it again, I'll probably do it in like an hour. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty good. Very, it looks really sleek and um, very clean. First, fold the seats and remove the Tesla platform and keep the two rectangle shaped frames on top of the sub trunks and we can use the Tesla platform to cover them up. So here's the second frame. After placing these two frames, we can still use the sub trunks. Keep the Tesla platforms on top of the frames and the other two frames goes on the front. Place them side by side and the end with the side or angle cut will go near the window. 
as you can see this is perfectly flat bed frame so without the bed frame just with the tesla platform it will be bent and it won't be comfortable so now let's put the mattress on top of the bed frame so enjoy sleeping in your tesla the next must have accessory is the roof sunshade and this is from ev base this came in a bag so there are two sunshades and these are nicely folded i'm gonna unfold this This sunshade has two sides. This is the reflective side and this will go up on the roof. So this will face the roof and here is the non-reflective side. It also comes with two small bags here. So these are the clips. This one is the large clip. So there are three large clips and this is to connect the two sunshades. And in this bag, here are the smaller clips. There are around 10 small clips and this will go on the edges. The small clip goes on the edges of the sunshade. So just insert the clip and then keep it into the gap. As we keep a couple of clips, it will be easy to install. There are three large clips. They are used to connect the sunshades. So two of the clips go on the ends and the third one on the center. Keep the clip and tuck the sunshade end into the clip. And here's the one that's kept on the center. This is installed perfectly so the installation was super smooth and easy. It only took me a few minutes and no tools required. So I didn't use all of the clips. I only used a few clips so we'll have some extra clips which is good. Sunshade comes in two colors. So this one is black. It also comes in white. So as soon as I put up this sunshade, it feels much cooler. So the car cabin is so much cooler right now. So not just for camping, when we go on a road trip or just driving the car, we can have these. Advantages of this sunshade, it will instantly cool up the car cabin and saves battery life as we don't have to run the AC that much and it also protects the interior, the seating from fading and cracking due to sun exposure. This sunshade is made of high quality material and is pretty sturdy. This is exclusively for Model Y, so it's written here to avoid confusion, so this is for Model Y rear side. And this one is for the front side. So here are the two roof sunshades for Tesla Model Y. If you're not using this, we can just fold it like this. It's so easy to fold it. We can have the roof sunshade even while driving. The next accessory I wanted to share with you guys is the tray. This is also from EV Base. So the tray came in a really nice bag. I'm going to take the tray out of the bag. It's foldable tray. So this is wood grain pattern, very sturdy and looks really sleek and it's nice design. The tray sits perfectly, so the one side sits perfectly on the door handle and the other side on the arm rest. So we can push the seat back and it's perfect and comfortable. I have my Tesla workstation ready here. So this is a pretty cool tray, very spacious and sturdy. So I have my laptop here. So here's my watermelon. It's a pretty hot day today, so cool it off with watermelon. my cookies here my water bottle my coffee banana so very comfortable as you can see I'm sitting so comfortably so I just have to push the seat back and I have really good leg space as well This tray can be placed on the driver's seat and also on the passenger seat. So right now I'm on the passenger seat and it's perfect.
You can get the roof sunshade and the tray from evbase.com. Their prices are pretty reasonable. And I have a discount code for you guys. Use my code TAS. It's T-H-A-S and you will get 15% off not just on these two accessories but on all evbase accessories. They got thousands of Tesla accessories. Check their website out. I will post the link in the description below. That's a wrap guys. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more electrifying content. Until then, bye-bye.